Hello everyone, you're welcome once again to David YouTube channel and I'm super excited to be back. Um, the last three months has actually been um, quite uh, intense for me personally and that's really why I'm not able to post some videos but I'm really excited to be back right now on your screen. And then we're going to jump right away to DBT. And today we're going to be looking at um, one DBT new feature in the DBT version 1.8 latest version um called finis testing um you know in the idea of software engineering unit testing allows you to test a certain area or a certain part of your program to ensure that it works just as you want it to work and that's really the idea about dbt unit testing before now dbt had the um, normal test that they now call data test that allows you to test for anything really you can check for uniqueness um nulls in your data set um accepted values and other stuff like that and you could even employ using packages like dbt utils um to get um for that test into your project but then unit testing the idea about unit testing is that it wants to help you to test certain areas of your business logic or of your um, modern logic to see that it works exactly the same way you want it to work and um you can just go through the documentation later to to see some interesting things about the unit test and then um, when should you unit test a model you can um, sql unit test your model if your sql contains like regex function for regular expression on you know what i mean right um you have some mathematics on your dates um you have some window functions you really want to check that is working as it should work and you have so many keys to an old truncation and uh, yeah, it says if you're just checking for means, stuff like means, you don't need to check that because your, your data warehouse already does that very well. And um, you can do that when for logic that you know has both. So basically, you write an SQL model that has a logic. I want to just confirm that your logic is working as it should work, right? So that's where DBT test comes in, DBT unit test comes in. Okay, so we're going to quickly just do a test of, of this. So for this, I um, just created a CSV file. I call this orders. Now our table has um, four columns, other ID, customer ID, other ID, other deeds and amounts, right? So I've already um, ingested this seed. So to get this into my stuff, I just get to do, so let me just add a fresh, right? So let's see DBT seed and um, DBT seed, we know what we know what happens, right? So it, it creates other rows into our data warehouse. So if I do others row, I'm going to have our data here on Postgres. And then the next thing we want to do is our staging model. So I just um, pulled out the data as it is into a stage model from using my function from my seeds, right? I didn't want to um, do my computation of on top of the seed. So I just put it, um, created the staging model. Yeah, stage orders, right? So that's what it is. And then if I come to my um, data warehouse, let me just run that as well. So the DBT run, select um, stage orders. Yep, yep, yep. So that works fine as well. So then next thing is my mass order. So this is where I put my competition. So I do is a, I do a CT that says with orders as I bring this in. And then I select my customer ID, order ID, other dates and amounts. And so I'm doing two things. I'm doing a date math and I'm doing a window function. And so I want to use unit test to confirm that my competition here works very well, basically. And so I say my current date minus other date gives me the date since order. And then I want to get run total per customer. Um, yeah, per customer ID. So I sum the amounts, I partition my customer ID, and then I get, um, I order by order dates from the earliest order. I get running total of every customer amounts yeah so i want to test that my logic works very well and so this is where dbt test dbt unit testing comes in and so i go to my yaml file right and um i didn't add that part unit testing can be written on your yaml file just zoom you write on your other testing and it's only valid from um, version 1.8 we're putting the resource the resource is now unit test the name of my unit test is test order I'm testing my model, match orders, and then you put in this um, um, parameter given and input. So what's my input model? My input model is stage orders, right? The model I'm testing is match orders. So my um, test is picking values from stage orders and running my computation and checking that the results are the same as what we have on match orders. 
And so my input rows that oh I say this is the row to expect to this is the imputed rows and this is the rows you should expect. So so for unit test you can you can put three or four rows to um confirm what your, your logic. So I have my customer ID one, my other ID, my other date, and I have my other amount. Customer ID, other ID, other date, amount. The same thing, the same thing. And then what do I expect? So if we look at this closely, so I am doing this since order. And um, so I'm going to just do this like this. So you can see that this since order, um, this since order is zero. But then this since order is supposed to be current date minus the date of the order. Um, this is first of, um, so this would be 06, 06, 06, 06. Yeah, um, where? That's 06, yes, 06, 06, 06, 06. And I have 06, 06, 06, 06. So, um, my distance order should be, today is 15, 15 minus one, um, minus two, that's what I should get. So let me do 15 minus one, this should be 14. Um, 15 minus two, this should be 13. I'm going to leave this like this. Now my, I'm going to leave this two like this, right? So they can fail. And uh, my running total, so if I do my running total for this customer ID, um, for the first record should be 100, and the second record running total will be 100, 150 plus 100, which is 250, and um, running total for this guy is 200, and the next guy should be 500. So I'm just, I'm going to make this 300, right? All right, so I'm going to just do the DBC test. So um, DBC test, basically. The same way we do our normal DBC test. And then you can, um, okay, so let's see the results. It says, um, completed with one error, zero, one failure on units test, test order. And then it says, actual default from expected. And so I say my customer ID is fine, my order ID is fine, my order ID is fine, I was fine, right? That's what I imputed. And then my distance order, the first two records are okay. Um, but then, I have zero and two, but I, I, my, I told my model to expect zero and two, but what actually got was 14 and 12, right? So in this case, I'm putting the wrong value here, why? Because I know it's wrong, but then on the, on my model is, is also correct. So in the same vein, if you put your correct value here, and so let's say I put, um, this is 14 again, and this is, um this is 14 and this is 13 so you input your values in dictionary format space that's what i'm trying to say earlier on and then my run total i put 500 so your idea is on your unit testing you put the correct value you want to expect you expect to get from your logic and then you test it against your model which i'm going to do that again dbt test okay we still have actual default from expected on one on this guy so this should be okay this is 03 so this is 12 15 minus 3 that is 12 and then we run this one more time yeah fast successful so basically um these expected values i give to my unit test is consistent to what it finds in the outputs of the model so really this is how dbc um unit test works it helps you to check for to check that your models are consistent the results of your models or of your business logic of your computation your query logic is consistent to what you want it to perform no, i'll take that again the unit test gets to check that um the logic you have written in your sql query is consistent with the output because there are times you write a very um very complex model and then you expect it to be the same way, but then there's some bugs here and there you did not know. And then the output is different, right? So that's where the unit test comes in. And then this tells us a couple of areas where you can use in testing. Or you have models with high criticality, um, probably contracted models, models directly upstream and exposure, or prior to refactoring your transformation logic. So you want to refactor your transformation logic. You want to confirm that your logic works as it should work. That's where this comes in. Edge cases, you have not yet seen your actual data um you've not seen the actual data yet but you want to handle so really unit test i feel is a good feature in dbt and i would like you to try it out as well and then when running your unit test you can 
if you um and yeah one more thing yeah unit test um should be run only on your development environment right so to save your production builds and um, to save compute when you do dvc build dvc build also runs your unit test as well and um, interesting stuff so um dvc build runs your unit test first runs your model and then does your normal data test so you know um when you do the dvc build on your normal on your normal data right now before you need test you to run your models and then run test on your models or unit testing runs your unit test first the models and the um what's it called and then normal data test and then just like every other resource you can specify um the test you want to run say um say your model um Math, math orders or math orders test type unit test you can specify that or you can select it by the name of the test right so yeah okay so that's all for unit testing short video i hope you got this thing as well after this video please stay tuned i have much more regular on my video for since all right thank you please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe button share your thoughts in the comment section as well all right bye for now